And what significant happened was I was at home uh, in my room and I was supposed to go to a meeting that morning and the meeting got canceled. And so I knelt next to the bed and I said, okay, God, I guess you have me. Here I am. I have nothing to do. Tell me what it is you want me to do. And it was one of those moments again, I can tell you that it, it, his voice was right in the room. And he said, Alan, I want you to take care of the poor that are in pain. I'm like, okay, God, how am I going to do a free medical clinic for people in pain? People will think I'm crazy. And so I said, what am I going to do? And so he started to bring to mind the names of all these people that I knew who would probably maybe want to help. And so I, start, I went to the office and I called them one by one and they all told me, Alan, I want to help you with this. And so out of that was born Christian Health Ministries and the Southwest Florida Free Pain Clinic. I remember going to my pastor at First Church of the Nazarene uh, here in Fort Myers, Pastor Brummett, and I said, Pastor, I want to start this free medical clinic. And he's like, Alan, let's do it. Let's, let's hold it right here at the church. I mean, he was like, great. And then the congregation responded, and they wanted to get involved. And so we've been able to do this on Tuesday nights ever since. And that is the outreach that's sponsoring this show, Christian Health Ministries. And uh, at the end of the so show, you'll see uh, a closer where we talk about where you could go to, to give toward the ministry that we're doing on Tuesday nights for people who have nothing. Uh, they, they are absolutely destitute. They, they have no insurance. They have no money. They have no health care. And they're in pain. And we provide free medical care for them in the forms of um, my care, physical therapy, chiropractic care, massage therapy, modalities, all prayer, all kinds of things that we can do with people without giving them prescription drugs uh, to get them better. So it's an amazing ministry. We help a lot of people. And I pray that you'll consider getting involved with that and supporting that because it also supports the work that we're going to be doing on this television show. Um, as, in, as part of that whole Christian Health Ministries experience, we got a free commercial to come here at, to WRXY TV, and I met the station manager, Paul Lodato, and he was so enthralled by what we were doing. Uh, we, we, set up a free t uh, commercial that runs on the station for our free clinic, but he also wanted me to consider doing a holistic health show for the public. And I had been thinking about getting out to do more public teaching to the body of Christ to help them to get healthy and well, and this just fit in with all my entire plans. And so this has been a blessing to be able to get involved with doing this TV show. There's been a lot of obstacles along the way. We've had some this morning. but. Suffice it to say, this is going to happen, and many people will be helped because of this. My current practice here in Southwest Florida is taking care of motor vehicle accident patients who are acutely injured, um, and then this, the people who have fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue and autoimmune disorders and just very complicated conditions. I spend a lot of time with patients. I know, again, that seems like a lost art in an area of, of medicine where it seems like doctor's offices are just hurting you through as fast as they can. Uh, maybe a 10 minute office visit if you're lucky. Um, but in my practice, things are totally different. I spend a lot of time with people. I don't have insurance companies breathing down my neck to, to control what I do. And so I really try to seek what God would have me to do to help people to get well. Um, I try to address the physical, emotional, and spiritual needs of the patients. Now, this is a very foreign concept for probably most of you because you've probably not been to many doctor's offices where anybody even talks to you about your spiritual health. But let's look at uh, some slides here, a PowerPoint, that kind of talks a little bit about um, the spiritual health that we, that we um, need to be addressing with our patients. Um, why should a doctor want to get involved with addressing the um, spiritual history of their patient? Well, they can develop a better understanding of their patients, uh, establish a comprehensive treatment plan that addresses what's going on in their life spiritually, provide care in a compassionate, holistic manner based on the patient's spiritual beliefs, but it also connects us closer together on a more personal level, and this improves compliance with the other therapeutic regimen that I'm trying to get the patient to do. So that's really exciting for me, uh, to be able to spend time addressing the spiritual needs of patients. Now, what is the U.S. religious landscape? Well, if we look at information from the Pew Forum, this is what they're telling us, that 76% of adults in the United States claim to be Christians. 16% are unaffiliated, 4% are other religions, 1.6% are atheists, so not many people are atheists. 
and 2.4% are agnostics. But 92% of Americans believe in God, 60% believe in a personal God, and 63% believe the Bible is the Word of God. So there's a lot of people out there that are still very spiritual. And as we look closer at this, we find out that 85% of people are very open to discussing spiritual things with their doctor. 75% believe physicians should address their spiritual needs at their, of their medical care. But 39% attend religious services at least once a week. 68% say religion is very important in their life. 70% say prayer is extremely helpful in their lives. And 58% pray every day. But here's the sad thing. Only 17% say that a doctor has ever spoken to them about any kind of spiritual things. So it's important to them. Why isn't it important to us? Well, it's important to me. And so I spend a lot of time with people talking about spiritual things, if they want to. I even offer to pray with people. And I usually pray with most of my patients before they leave. I have a very heavy nutritional emphasis in my practice. Uh, that's uh, thankfully to uh, a woman that I met named Carol Simontachi, who unfortunately went home to be with the Lord, but she taught me a lot about nutrition. Most doctors know very little about nutrition. Um, Carol educated me about a lot of things, and I'm going to be imparting a lot of that information to you in subsequent programs that we're going to be having, because nutrition is the cornerstone of you getting better from all the problems that you're having. You are what you eat. And so Carol taught me a lot of that, and I'm going to try to give that information to you. Um, one of the things that Carol really stressed to me, which we're going to talk about in future programs, are all of the food additives and toxins and things that are in our food that are not good for us. And also, the different kinds of foods that are making us sick, just because they're not the same thing that they used to be anymore. And I'll give you an example, which is wheat. And we're going to talk about wheat on our next show. But Carol taught me a lot about that. I'm going to try to teach you guys about that. We're going to look at a comprehensive treatment plan for the disorders that you're dealing with. Um, next show, we're going to be looking at the problems that we're facing here in America with obesity and diabetes and cardiovascular disease and cancer and, and, and autoimmune disorders and all the things that seem to be in epidemic proportions in our country. There's good reasons why they are. And we're going to look at why that is. And then we're going to come up with a plan to reverse all that so that you can get healthy and not be a statistic. Uh, in closing, uh, I want you to get really excited about this show. I want you to be excited about what we're going to be doing in the future. I want you to join me every week here on WRXY TV and, and be a part of what God is going to be doing here. We're going to grow. This is going to get bigger as time goes on. Uh, I've got a nice internet site that's developing at prescriptionforhealth.tv. Uh, I want you to go check it out. There's going to be a lot of cool information on there. I particularly want you to get to know the sponsors who are helping me with this show and support them. And if you're interested, if you're a Christian business person and you want to get involved with what we're doing on this show, please contact me. I could use some other sponsors. Uh, you could be a great blessing to the people here of Southwest Florida as you help to make this possible. Again, I want to thank you for um, joining me here today. I want to thank all the people at WRXY TV who have helped me to put this all together. Uh, they've been an amazing crew to, to get me through the, the process of being able to put on this first television show. And I'm looking forward to what God is going to do with us in the future. It's going to be an exciting journey. And so again, thank you for joining me on Prescription for Health. And I'm Dr. Alan Grunning, and I'm looking forward to seeing you back next week. Thank you for watching Prescription for Health, Southwest Florida's local weekly TV program devoted to holistic health and healing. This is an outreach of Christian Health Ministries dedicated to providing free medical care to the poor and uninsured of Southwest Florida who are in pain. If you would like to give toward the work of our free clinic, please send your tax-deductible donation to the address on the screen. God bless you on your journey toward better health.